Okay, what we have here, this is our Tennessee walking horse mare uh, on Glitz and Glamour. We call her Gigi, and uh, she's foaled 2007. We have another uh, mare as well. I think uh, she I think she's foaled the same year. Uh, her name's Lightning True Love. That's Trudy. We'll show her as well in another video. But uh, we're putting her back on her saddle. Um, we have a lot of people ask for or the kind of horses that they're looking for is older horses that are you know sound and good mind and and well broke and all that kind of stuff and um, mostly we have younger horses and we don't uh, we don't we're not horse dealers like we don't flip horses uh, all the horses that we have here are are our our personal horses that were uh, that we produce like the babies that we produce and if they're four years old we have typically had them here for four years you know uh, and uh, but we've had a uh, quite a number of people looking for older horses and so what we're doing and I'm going to call this my mare program is uh, when the mares hit somewhere between 14 and 17 years old we're going to put them back under saddle and get them all good um, and well broke and ready for um, riders and stuff uh, The older horses typically you know they're like they're not like kids anymore they have a good mind and you know they can think through stuff and everything uh, so this is what we're doing and so we've just Kev's Kevin's been working with her for oh, what about a week now something like, something like that and uh, she's doing well do a lot of groundwork and he's he got back on her today and so I said hey before we get the saddle take the saddle up let's do a video and so he's working with her to get her to, used to the mountain block coming up to the mountain block and all that stuff like I said she's not even she's not anywhere where we want her to be yet okay uh, she'll she's available at any time if someone if this is something that somebody wants to put a deposit on her or whatever but uh, she uh, will will have her all really good by spring and uh, we'll ride her a bunch and take her I mean she trailer loads like crazy you know she's just a wonderful horse you know, she leads real nice all that kind of stuff so Kevin's just um, working with her and so he'll see he's getting her to stand um, by the mountain bike she's like I said she's not ready yet this is all just very beginning kind of stuff but uh, she's a she's a really sweet mare uh, she's a chestnut. She's, you've probably seen a lot of, uh, or we've mentioned a lot of babies from her and whatnot. Uh, she's a Jose Jose mare. Uh, a lot of people. She's kind of chunky right now. She just got done uh, with her foal, and uh, so she'll get all in good condition by the time she's available when we start riding her and everything. Uh, I yeah, just get an idea kind of this kind of stuff we do you know throw the mounting block down without much regard you know see so he's and she's in a rope halter now she'll probably be uh, when she's ready she'll be in like a uh, in a snaffle bit but he's done a Kev's done a, a lot of groundwork with her and uh, getting her back back in in a good frame of mind and everything and so this is how we start them like in the we just treat it just like starting a new horse you know but she's was under saddle in earlier in her earlier life I don't I haven't had her from the beginning so I don't I don't know her total history or anything uh, but we ride Western and so she'll be trained Western and she'll She'll go off your legs and your seat and your your body. And she'll be real light in the reins and and all that. And uh, she'll cross creeks and logs and go, you know, and all sorts of different stuff. By the time we she's ready, um, you know, we'll get her out, you know, in open fields and woods. You know, we'll ride her this winter through snow and stuff. And so. She'll really, she'll really be 
uh, rock solid when that all comes. And uh, like I said, we have another one. Her name's, we call her Trudy. That's Lightning True Love. I'll show you her in another video. And she's black. I want to say she's the same age. But this is a good age for people who are more beginners, you know. Um, you, know, you want to get a horse that's older, typically, and, uh, you know, it's, a, it's just a better thing for, for people, you know. But yeah, she's doing really well, Kevin. That's good. So far, so that's, that's Gigi. Keep an, keep an eye on her if you, this is kind of something that you're uh, looking for. Uh, and uh, just follow her progress. We'll be posting it, and I'll, I'll post some things on, uh, on our website as well with her as we, as we proceed and everything. But, yeah, you can see she's hooked on to Kevin really nice. And, uh, and it, what we advise, too, is when people get a horse from us to uh, come out and spend some time with the horse, we'll give you uh, lessons on them uh, and stuff like that so you can feel comfortable, you know, because uh, 90 percent of it is, is the rider, to be honest, you know. Uh, a lot of times that's, that's just how it is. He's calling her over here, see. He's trying to get her to just come, see? <laughs> I, when I'm standing out here with the camera, it'll throw a different wrench in, in everything. But, yeah, and these, these will be, I don't know, um, they'll be more moderately priced uh, horses as well. I'll, I'll have to see. Uh, but we have some pretty pricey horses on our website because of their young horses and uh, we just put a tremendous amount of training in them and everything. They're high-end horses. Uh, and so these will be, this will fit that other, the other area that people are looking for, you know. So that's our, our goal with them. But she's, yeah, she's a... She's a really nice mare. I love this mare. And all our horses, if you see, like, all our horses are barefoot, see? And we get them conditioned through uh, what we feed them. You know, we feed forage. We don't feed any sweet feeds. Uh, the only concentrated we feed, feed we feed is a one that is like a vitamin mineral sort of concentrate, you know, so they get like a cup or two cups a day or something like that. Uh, and that helps, it's called a, a, a hay balancer or grass and hay balancer. Uh, that's all they get and then mineral salt and stuff. And uh, so that makes their, helps make their hooves really hard. And then we also, here I'll show you real quick, like we have a lot of gravel, um, here I'll show you. Yeah, like I said, see, we have a lot of gravel everywhere, you know, and I put gravel in, in war areas in the pastures, like where they travel, so they get a lot of this, and this is really good for their hooves. It helps really toughen them up and shape them good and everything. So, you know, standing out in nice soft ground is not really ideal for horses. They used to cover in like 20 miles a day and over some pretty sparse, rugged terrain. So that's that's that. But we'll, like I said, we'll let me get back over here. We'll we'll have her uh, available. I mean, she's available now. Uh, but uh, you know, just keep. If this is the kind of thing you're looking for, it's kind of funny to me, like that people that people don't. You know, coming to coming to winter, they don't want to get a horse, and uh, because uh, they don't want to house it in the winter, I guess. And I think eventually you're going to, right? So, you know, it's hard to find good horses. Uh, but this, so this is what we're going to be doing, and uh, I think she's going to be just a super duper, super duper horse. And uh, yeah, 
already that's this is her first this his first day on her after you know she's been a brood mare for quite a long time and uh but we interact with our horses a lot you know we take them out and we're always leading them and like i said she dream she loads like a, a dream and see so the reason we do like you could check out one of our our videos i think it's called what's our process or something and explains why we use how we do we start with rope halters and then we go to a snaffle and then eventually we would go to a western bit so you could ride one-handed but like i said she'll probably just go out in a uh, in a snaffle done you've done a great job so far kev that's great yeah that's yeah yeah see how good she's listening she's turning off his body see See that? So I mean, this is not bad. I think she'll be stellar, like when she's when she's ready. So that's awesome. Well, keep 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 a watch out for her. Thanks for watching. Should people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.